yeah so we're gonna be running this build i don't know if we actually need to run full damage on samire but that's just how i roll maybe i'll replace this one with with an injury negation because lin is actually quite popular on this map yeah so i'm equipping samire with negation this time we lose a lot of dps but i guess it's a fair trade um I'm gonna use the new uh, the new thing on Arabel, the one with full HP, and I'm probably gonna run the Invader Mothership on Arabel as well. Yeah, because yeah, not really. I guess I'm gonna stick with this because um because the map is stadium, so I can like I can still outplay the opponents here. I can yeah I can still make some plays. Ogma's running his usual build. Nothing special with that. Yeah, let's um, let's start. Oh my god, it's a mono earth on the first one, unfortunately. Like this comp is not even good, as I said on a couple times. I mean, it's still good, but it's not good compared to the other comps. And unfortunately, even if this comp is not really that good, it really counters my team comp. So still a very annoying opponent to play against. Like, this guy's most likely gonna play horribly, but yeah, it's still a very annoying comp to face against. I never wanted to play against Mono Dirt. Now my Ogma is running a um, a martyr accessory, so I'm gonna deny a lot of Mariel's um, defense debuff. Um, yeah, let's just hope that this guy does not go full Super Saiyan and teleport on me and then instantly weapon skill. That's not gonna be good. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, they decided to um to try and dogfight Ogma, which is a very horrible decision. Now I'm I can just probably chase this with Arabel and win. I do have a uh, a crit buff, so I'm gonna deal quite a decent amount of damage to this Mariel. I can probably kill it before um before they chain, like that. Yeah, unless something magical happens. But yeah, thankfully it doesn't, and we get our first win. Yeah, thankfully it's a double tank, double tank FP. Uh, kind of annoying on this map to be honest, but I'll take it over a uh, over a uh, melee crit one. This arena is not taking any boxes, so I'm gonna take advantage of this. Yeah, this guy got baited very easily. They do get the box now. I could have probably went for another box, but I don't think I need to. Like, my Sumira is gonna wipe their Lilith as well, probably. They're gonna get- oh shit, I actually got debuffed. Oh yeah, the guy's yellow ping, I didn't notice. I guess I needed to be more careful. He definitely has a debuff. Oh, he's not actually using it? Hmm. I was pretty sure he was going to use a debuff right there, but I did not for some reason. Um, why did he use a defense buff like that? guy is playing very weirdly. I guess it's a diamond player, so I can't really complain. <laughs> oh yeah. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I could have played that better in 1v3. They could have dodged that weapon skill, but... Yeah. I... <laughs> The guy's playing so bad that I lost the will to exert effort into this game. <laughs> oh, it's actually a mono fire. Ray is very annoying. I'm gonna lose to Ray. Usually, 
unless he messes up. But I do think this guy is not a bad player. I played against him a couple of times. Wait, he actually uh, doesn't take the box. Very weird that he doesn't. Um. Okay, never mind. This guy's playing very horribly right now. Like you should never lose your um, your rate to a Samire. It's a very bad matchup for the Samire player, honestly. Uh, and it's also very weird that they are doing that with their fish. Uh, unfortunately, we weren't able to hide in a uh, in a wall in time. But I do think I still win this. They're uh, they probably know how this matchup works, so they're just gonna run away. But I do have the um, the Lupina T-shirt, and my Ogma has quite a decent amount of damage with these party buffs. Yeah, he didn't even bother um, canceling the weapon skill there. Yeah, also he gets outstatted by <laughs> quite a lot. Yeah, so maybe it's not gonna deal any damage to me. I have Martyr Necklace. <laughs> I, fi I finally got debuff at the end because uh, my Martyr is not actually 100%. It's only 96, I think. Uh huh. We're up against this team again. I don't want to face this team. It's a very annoying comp to, uh, to play against. Like, usually, if I am running Noxia instead of Arabelle, this team wouldn't be much of a problem. Because my Samire can, um, can easily beat like comps like these if I if I had a um, extra tanky party buff. I probably should have just went for the dogfight, to be honest. I don't know why I expected to, um, to chain this guy. Maybe I underestimated his damage a bit, but... Yeah, like, it's time for Ogma to do some carrying now. Yeah, it would have been so much better if I just went for the dogfight with my um, Samire. I prob I'm probably gonna lose this game. Uh, their camel actually kinda got demolished. Yeah, I should have just went for the dog fight. Ah, yeah, of course I take that much damage. Well, maybe it is still kind of playable against. Let's see if we can um, we can perform some outplays. But this guy's yellow ping, so it's gonna be a bit more difficult. Nice, nice, uh, and we just win. Hmm. It's the same, it's the exact same comp, but Camel is much easier to deal with compared to Lina with Samire. Easier to run away from, because it doesn't have like 3 million range. Um, it didn't target unfortunately. I should have probably just went for that earlier I guess. Yeah, earlier Black Pound said that um, he'd rather face this comp against the Lina Russell AA72, um, which I agree on because like Ogma can easily de uh, delete this entire team. I mean, not the entire team, but you know, most of the team. <laughs> Ogma can easily um, beat one unit and maybe take uh, half of the other unit's HP. Um, you can't really do that against the Russell um, Russell Lina AA72 team comp because um, they're much tankier and they do have a Russell, so you know. <laughs> Because, um, ah wait, Cassell doesn't exist on JP yet, I guess it still makes sense. But on Global, it doesn't really make sense to play that team comp anymore if you're just planning to one button. Because like, what the fuck are those? <laughs> ah, yeah. Yeah, hopefully I don't get matched against um players that use that comp. That comp is very annoying. I mean, it's not unwinnable against, because it does run a tank. 
you know, but if the guy is well, it's definitely unwinnable against. <laughs> Anyway, this Lilith is now dead. And this arena is also dead. Talon's probably dead as well. I actually got hit. I thought I was um, gonna be able to dodge that. Let's try and trade weapon skills. Oh, he actually uh, managed to dodge it. Mm. Wait, how did that hit? Wow. Someone's actually playing an interesting team comp. So, um, yeah, double tank FP, I'm not really that amused. I'm just gonna get this boss. Yeah, they're gonna get the boss for themselves. Uh huh, they know how to dodge Samira. I need to play this more carefully now. Oh, they didn't go for the boss bait. Um, I do have the um, advantage in terms of uh, chain skill. Should be able to sweep this entire team now. Oh. They cancelled. And we do have negation, so Lin is not an issue. And I do think my weapon skill is faster than Lin. This Lin is like Marina weapon skill speed. Yeah, we dodged the Fire Breath Knights. I don't mind trading weapon skills here because like, I do, um, I do chain first because my cooldown is faster. It's a very clean sweep. Oh wow, it's another um, double tank FP. I'm gonna do um the trick that I a couple times yeah, basically dash through the FP. They're gonna be enticed to pick the box. Um this guy for some reason did not get the box. Not that big of a problem. Uh, this guy does not know how to play. Oh, this is a, actually a very tanky uh, future princess. Hmm. Yeah, Ray. I'm not really that afraid of Ray because um because it's double tank. Usually, Ray is only a threat if it's on a full damage team comp. Yeah, on double tank, I'm not afraid of this. It's not gonna deal enough damage to me. Um, for some reason they don't trade weapon skills, like that's their, uh, they tank my weapon skill but they didn't trade either, so, yeah, this is another 1v3 probably. I don't think the, I don't think the future knight can beat my Samire. Um, yeah, I'm gonna stand on this arrow here, and then pass through them right here, and then, yeah. Okay, they actually dodged. But they can like, yeah, that dodge is probably just a fluke. Hmm. 
Oh, it's actually Illumino B. Um, he does not want to pick a box, so I'm not gonna pick a box either. I'm gonna take too much unnecessary damage if I pick a box. Yeah, he did get a few um negated hits there. Should be able to chain on this one, probably. Uh, he, he managed to dodge it, but I'm not getting chained. Yeah, unfortunately, Plitvis is an RNG unit, and he did win with the RNG. He didn't get chained, though I did miss the last weapon skill, so that was on me. I'm probably gonna lose this because my Arabel cannot do anything against the Vishova. It's a very hard counter to Arabel. And Illuminubi does know how to fight against Ogma, I think. Oh, never mind. He went for the dog fight. Like, if he went for the weapon skill against my Ogma, I already lost this game. But, yeah, he's letting my Arabel um, play against his Vishovak with almost full HP. Which is neat. I do think I should still lose, but... I do have, um... Like... Oh, yeah, especially since my Arabel right now is running, um, is running a squishy... Squishy party buff set. This is not ideal, really, against Vish. Oh my god. Uh, I didn't- I didn't hit him, unfortunately. Ah, uh, yeah. It's like, Vishovak is not winnable against with Arabelle. 